How's it going, everyone? Today I'm here with Brent. What's up? All right, and we're gonna be fixing his headrest. So the issue that he has is that he was leaning on it and accidentally deployed it. So we're gonna take the headrest out and attempt to fix it. If you guys have this issue, then this is gonna be the video for you. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with currently. Uh, he leaned on it like this basically when he was trying to reach for something and it popped open. And uh, unfortunately, it you know looks like it broke the internal locking mechanism. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna, um, yeah, that's the piece that broke. We're gonna remove the headrest itself and then we're gonna take it over to a bench and uh, set it down so we're not wrestling with it inside the car. Uh, but to do this, what you're gonna wanna do is there's a little button on the bottom, you're gonna press that in, pick it up, and then on this side, you push it down and there's like a little retaining clip inside there. So you see that little clip right there? He's using a plastic pick. You can use a metal one, just be careful not to scratch your seat. And you're basically just gonna wanna slide it out. Easier said than done. Oh, there it goes. Nice, okay, careful so. Careful not to lose that. And it is directional, so we'll have to figure out which direction that came out. And then slide it all the way up. It is going to be a little harder because it's hitting the roof. So you're going to have to yeah, lean the seat back is fine. Give yourself a little bit more room and then and there it goes out. So this is a directional lock. So afterwards you can clip the ring back into place so you don't lose it. And you can put the headrest in and it'll lock it again when you install it. Cool. So right now we're just uh, basically trying to figure out how the mechanism works exactly. We just laid down a plastic trash bag on top just so it's a nice clean work area. And uh, we're just going through this thing trying to figure out if we can just compress it without having to do anything crazy with it. So what we've discovered so far is, well, one, this one's way longer than the other one. Mm. Um, you push it down a little bit, pull these rods out of their notch, it'll go down some more. And you kind of just wiggle it. So, upon further messing with it, we, you know, realized that he's just tucking those little flaps in. If you flip it upside down and release these two clips right here, you basically just push them down like that. You can pretty Gravity much... Gravity holds them out of the way. Yeah, push it all the way down. And then, supposedly, you might be able to just push all the way down until it clicks, but it's going to require a lot of pressure. Now, because he actually accidentally leaned on his and broke it, it wasn't necessarily like deployed by the electrical mechanism. So this might be slightly harder than if yours was actually electronically deployed. Because there's like this little clip right here in the center that may rock a certain direction when actually deployed. For you guys wondering too, that little metal bar right here uh, it does need to clip on to like those little clips on the bottom of the headrest right where my fingers pointing That needs to clip on there before you can actually start to compress it If it was like I said electronically triggered pushing it down should click this back into place But because when we're pushing it down, this isn't lining up with the bar We're thinking it's not clicking so we're gonna try to probe this now to get this lock to unlock and then when we push it down, maybe it'll relock back in the closed position. So, got alligator clips and a 9 volt battery. Let's make sure they don't touch these the, uh, themselves. No, we're, we don't really know <laughs> which way uh, is positive negative, so he's just going to tap it. Hopefully it's the right way. Oh, okay. So there was definitely a click. So while I'm doing this, you yeah. want to try to push that back? Yeah, go for it. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Did it lock back into place? Oh, it moved a little bit, right? Yeah, it moved. So, so it, it might be just, yeah, it's, it's locked back into place. unlocked spot now. So, I wonder if I reverse them if it'll trigger it. Just so we can redo it and show the... No. Can you pull it back out when I do that? Push it down? No. Pull it back where it was? No, it's locked now. Okay. So... There we go. So, that's the lock position. But so what... As you'll see... Is we're going to put power to each one of these prongs, positive and negative, 
careful not to touch each other and two small little prongs in there and while I do this he's gonna apply pressure to it and it's gonna move back into its locked position there you go yep so it's back in this unlocked so position now it's now. further back in its locked position so now the method should work to lock it back into place Nice. <laughs> well, that's awesome. That's a lot of force. <laughs> um, so then we just want to make sure it's not going to deploy while I'm driving. Just going to give it a light. Yeah, give it a tapping around. A couple little drops. Because if it's barely caught, you know drop, it's just going to pop it on back, back out. And on its front. There we go. Cool. Don't lean on the back of your headrest. I call it a mission success. Yep. Alright, now it's time to reinstall it. And all we, you know, all we needed was a 9 volt to unlock the mechanism. Dang, look at them. Just posed up squad style right next to each other. Yeah, we both drive um, pretty much identical cars. This is two, two, new, two years newer, but it's still pretty cool. 4.6s. Now, we open this, and it's still there. Oh, oh that, yep. That clipping? Pretty much. And we heard oh, yeah. it snap. That's all in, and now there's no room for it to slip by either. All right, so, so we do have the pin in. We think it might have flipped on camera, so it looks like the bulge would have went towards the front of the car. We actually flipped it so it's in the back of the car. And before when the bulge was forward, there was no like line across to catch the little thing in the headrest. But flip now with the flat part in the front, there is actually a little thing to catch it. So now that that's in, we're gonna try to reinstall the headrest. Let's see if we can get it past there. And now he's gonna try to remove it and see if it'll hold it. And that it does. Cool. So if you guys are doing this, um, make sure the flat part goes forward and the little bulge part goes in the back. And then uh, some pliers and a rag, so you know, scratch up your seat. Just basically, like you guys saw, just push it forward until it clicks and you can slide your headrest in. But yeah, uh, it looks a lot better than a deployed headrest. A lot of effort, but you know, it's worth it. Yeah. Not too bad to put the clip in the right way. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so if you enjoyed these videos, uh, definitely subscribe. There's going to be a lot of them posted on my channel. There already is a lot of them posted on my channel if you own the BH Genesis sedan. Uh, a lot of the stuff transfers to the newer Genesis as well, uh, especially a lot of the seat fixes and whatnot. But, um, you know, random other things as well. Definitely subscribe if you like this kind of content. Uh, like the video if you found it helpful, if it helped you. It uh, helps the algorithm, you know, recommend my videos and I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah. I appreciate you guys. Have a good day.